week, and we begin with President Trump. Two words that give you a sense of impending doom, like <laughs> sewage enema or <laughs> United Airlines. <laughs> This week saw a spectacular moment when White House spokesman Sean Spicer attempted to explain our stance on Syria by pointing to the fact Assad had used chemical weapons on his own people. Not that difficult a thing to explain. Certainly very difficult to explain this badly. You look, we didn't use chemical weapons in World War II. You know, you had a, you know, someone as despicable as Hitler who didn't even sink to the, to the, to using chemical weapons. Yes. Hitler didn't use chemical weapons. That's not just wrong. That's $200 question on Jeopardy wrong. That is Wheel of Fortune first round toss up wrong. Because everybody knows mass chemical extermination was kind of Hitler's thing. That and the mustache. You take them away, and all you've got is an ill tempered Austrian with resting bitch face. And, and Spicer's comments led to this incredible follow up question. I just want to give you the opportunity to clarify something you said that seems to be gaining some traction right now. Uh, quote, Hitler didn't even sink to the level of using chemical weapons. What did you mean by that? I, I think when you come to sarin gas, uh, there was no, he was not using the gas on his own people the same way that a shot is doing. I mean, there was clearly, I, I, I understand your point. Thank you. I, thank you. I appreciate that. There was not in the, in the he brought him into the, to, um, to the Holocaust Center. I understand that. At no point during that was he in control of his own mouth. <laughs> Most specifically, the moment he suddenly decided to coin the term Holocaust Center, which sounds like the home arena for an alt-right hockey team. <laughs> but wait, wait, because he wasn't done. Spicer then put out a printed statement reading, in no way was I trying to lessen the horrendous nature of the Holocaust, which is an amazing way to start any statement. <laughs> Continuing, however, I was trying to draw a contrast of the tactic of using airplanes to drop chemical weapons on innocent people. The problem there is, that could imply the victims of the Holocaust were not innocent people. <laughs> Hence, Spicer's hastily released second statement, changing innocent people to population centres, <laughs> then a third statement with an extra line saying, any attack on innocent people is reprehensible and inexcusable. <laughs> and then a final statement which read, in its entirety, hello, I can't stop making statements. I don't want to make any more statements. Can anybody hear me? Hitler, 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 Sean. Sure.